But first tonight, the discovery of the stolen SUV, one of those fast-moving developments in the carjacking of Pastor Marvin Winans. Good evening, I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. Police have identified two suspects and arrested two others who may be part of the same carjacking crew. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich standing by live downtown at police headquarters where this has been getting a high lot, a lot of action. Julie, what have you found out tonight? Well, Stephen and Carolyn, police sources telling us that the two people they have arrested are part of that same carjacking gang that they believe carjacked Pastor Winans. And while they're not sure yet if they were directly involved in the carjacking, they say that they were at the gas station before or after it happened. Police found the stolen purple Infinity Thursday afternoon on Detroit's west side. Someone dumped it behind an abandoned home on Wager and Dexter Streets. Sources tell 7 Action News that keys to the vehicle were actually found at a different location, discovered about four miles away during the search of a home on Tyler Street. Evidence technicians will now dust for fingerprints and try to obtain whatever clues they can to find out who carjacked Pastor Marvin Winans Wednesday afternoon. The pastor was pumping gas at a Sitco gas station when he was assaulted by a group of males who wanted his vehicle. During the attack, he suffered several cuts and bruises and a fractured finger. His pants were ripped and the men stole his watch and $200. 7 Action News has learned that the pastor picked out two of the people who assaulted him during a photo lineup. Police now have two warrants for a 17-year-old and a 20-year-old in connection with the carjacking and robbery. Investigators say they were able to identify two suspects within minutes of the carjacking because they were issued loitering tickets at the gas station earlier in the day. Sources tell 7 Action News that the suspects are all part of a carjacking gang. Police sources also telling us tonight that at least four to five people were involved in this carjacking. Live from Detroit, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.